Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, back with another Jedi Survivor video. And in this one, I'll show you guys how to complete the quest to reach the Forest Array. Now, this is one of the earlier missions on in the game. However, you guys may have been getting a little bit of trouble when trying to get to this objective, as it is about five to 600 meters away, and you have to go through quite a few different puzzles actually to get there. So this is where we're gonna be starting. This is from the side quest, which you can pick up along the way. We've just completed that side quest. So in this video, I will show you guys the exact route you need to take in order to reach the forest array. Now keep in mind guys, there are quite a few puzzles along the way and I'll try my best to explain them as best as I can. So we came out of that side mission up there and now we need to go along this pathway as you guys already saw on the map. So the next step would be to actually go down here. As you can see here, if we zoom in to the map, we'll find a new area which has not been explored underneath here. So just underneath the side quest, which we just did, will lead us to the array. So there obviously are gonna be some people along the way as well, but that is actually a good thing because that's how you actually know that you're going the right direction. So very quickly, I will take out these enemies and continue along. After taking out these enemies, move down to the next area. There will actually be another fight you guys have to finish really quickly. So head down to this area. You can break these open because sometimes there's stuff inside. So you wanna to try to break these and then just finish up the fight. Now once this fight is done, you can continue along the path. This is the way you're going to want to go. So you should see this thing burrow into the ground and then a little cave over here. If you come over here, there's going to be a chest you can open up. I'll show you guys as many of the chests and collectibles as I can along the way. So if you want to grab this, you can. After you collect this, we can move on to the next section of the map. You will want to go back to where that big boss or like the mini boss spawned in. And there's going to be two pillars which you need to pull out from the walls. So use these pillars to jump across and actually get up top. Now once you guys do get up top, there will be a small puzzle because from this point forward you cannot be touching the ground as there is going to be this like larva which will kill you if you give it enough time. So as you guys can see, my guy's starting to cover his face and... As you continue through here, this stuff will actually kill you if you don't follow the right path. So here's a quick look at the map where we've gone so far. So you can see we still have quite a ways to go. But if you come down here, there's going to be a small room with a collectible inside on the right. We're going to grab that. So instead of jumping down into this pit, what you want to do is use the vines on the right side. This will allow you to not only get the collectible, but to continue throughout the entire room. So you have to come over here and grab onto the ceiling. From there, there will be a collectible in that room, but I already got it. So just simply get the collectible and jump back on the vines, and then you can follow the path. Now once you guys get through this section, you will have entered the forest array. However, there are still a few more puzzles and things you have to do in order to get to the actual objective here. So once you guys get here, you're about halfway, and I will show you guys the rest of the steps you need to complete. So be sure to get the meditation point that will spawn in because there will be a few fights you need to get into and it kind of counts as a checkpoint. So be sure to get that meditation thing. And then on the left side, you're gonna see this little beam here. Just use the force on that to get across. From this point, you still cannot be touching the ground. I know there's a couple collectibles on the ground, but unfortunately, you can't grab them yet. So we're going to just go across. This place must have been abandoned and forgotten. I guess he didn't forget. All these years later, and she never gave up on her mission. We can't let her down. is trapped. I can't cut it free. Let's pass under it for now. Right. 
That's not opening. It's locked down. Find another path. We might be able to help it later. Ugh. The thing sheds. Now, once you guys have defeated the boss that spawns in, you will need to drop down into this pole where you can then use this to melt down the tree branches that have been in your way. So once that's in there, you can actually melt through all of the tree branches that were in the way all the way through to the other side. So we're going to run back across now past the meditation. Now I suggest hitting the meditation one more time. Now that you've killed all those enemies, you're going to refill your health and everything. So you might as well hit it. So. After this, you'll go across to the other side. Just continue following the path in the video, and it will show you exactly where you need to go. I'm feeling weak, BD. No way we're passing that still breathing. All the critters around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either. This will come in handy. this side. That could be trouble. Or maybe it could lend us a hand. The Empire is way out of their element here.
Careful, BD. Now, if you guys are still watching the video up until this point and you still are stuck on this portion, this is just the same as before, but this time around, instead of using that laser to break the tree branches at the beginning, what you will need to do is actually rotate this panel around. So you'll notice here, after you take out all the enemies, that there is a control arm. You can use this to rotate the wheel both directions. So you can melt down the tree branches that were in the middle, and then you will need to spin it around and make sure that you melt down the other side as well on the right. So continue to use this to operate it and just simply spin it around and break down both sets of tree branches. So you will need to burn the ones in the middle and on the right side as well. Once the ones on the right side have been burned, it will actually create a tunnel for you to run through as well. So just simply follow that path along and just continue along the, where the video is showing you to go. Did the trick. Let's move. I wonder how long they were stuck in this stuff. Looks like that weird matter around here can take on various forms. Let's hope that tower at the top of the array has some answers. So after taking out all of the enemies in this area, you will be clear, but you need to go back through this door. This will create a shortcut back to the middle of the map where you will then need to grab this power core once more and move it to the next section. So you can actually jump back in there and grab the power core and you will need to throw it along the path so that you can advance to the next section. After this, just simply insert it into the new puzzle and it's pretty straightforward from this point. You can just jump across all the way. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know it was a little bit of a long video, so I apologize, but it just actually takes that long to travel this far across the map. There's not really any waypoints or anything that shows you the exact route, and there's a bunch of puzzles along the way. So I figured I'd make this video, try to help as many people out as possible that may be still on this mission. So hopefully it helped you through, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.